Hi, it's Sam Tober, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we have our next viewer request, an oldie but goodie from my era, from the Florida Mass Choir, Be Ye Steadfast, Unmovable, Always Abounding in the Work of the Lord. Key of E flat, got our scale. So these songs have a pattern, and once you learn the pattern, it's just a matter of applying the positioning of the pattern of this song. So for the number system, as you can see, we have the chords right there for the key of E flat of the number system chords. You want to look at where your choir is. That's where your choir voicing is right there, which means there's your chord, the one which is the E flat chord. B, E. Now they're gonna go to a six chord with a four bass. Steadfast, a five chord, right? No. Yes, a six chord, a five chord, unmovable, always abounding chromatically down in the work stay right there in the floor of the lord so there's where your choir voicing is musically wise you can just give them this chord which is just an octave lower than where your choir voicing is now in the song, again, this is the traditional gospel sound where they are borrowing, again, chords from a different genre. You may call this R&B. Another way to look at the chords. Of course, do you want to be mimicking what your choir voicing is? Yes, to make sure they land correct. Repeat. Here's a change. A jazz chord, that's the full chord for the musician. And then this turn, which we covered, we hadn't covered it yet, but we covered it in our scale chords in the key of C. This is the scale chord, the augmentative chord in the key of G, with that bass to drop you down here. This is your lead part, and it's the same chords. and turn we just came out of I wonder why I can't remember the lyrics now they're going down to the F or the two bass you can turn on this chord to the five back to this chord again the D half tone scale We've actually covered that scale in one of our courses. Back to this turn. And remember to drop to the G. Da, 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 da. You want to do that? To the F7, which is the two. Not the minor, but the major. So I said, once you and once you get into a, a, a scale uh, for the number system chords, you are whatever key that you land in. Usually, if it's a minor because of the major scale, you you can borrow the notes in that next in that uh, you can borrow the major scale of that key you're in 
just to help satisfy your, your core choices to support the melody. To this turn, and now you're right here again. Be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Be change your keys change. your chain D major 7 so that gets you through the first part of the song and the lead song now the rest is just rinse and repeat your labor your labor your labor not in now the arpeggio again is a broken chord form the chord hold your hand in place and the minute your thumb drops everything should drop in place turn your labor this is choir voicing your labor Drop down is not in vain. Now this is the two five one in jazz. Two five one to take me to the four, which is the A flat. Your labor, and you can do this. Your labor, drop down is not. In you can do this chord if you want to for the musicians. Just give you that two five one in a chord. Hang on in there. Now you're gonna go higher for the for the voices, but it's the same pattern. Hang on in there. Hang on in there. Watch this change. Hang on in there. This is the choir voicing, but as a musician, you should know what the choir voicing is. So if you want to help them in case somebody's voice can't get that top note, you can give that to them. Hang on in there. One, three, two, inverted, one. And you can give them this chord to support. Turn. Hang on in there. Now you see my left hand forms the bass on and the chords of support. Hang on in there. Hang on in there. Hang on in there. Your labor. Your labor. Drop it down. Is not in. Once you get comfortable floating around notes on a keyboard or on an organ, everything now begins to open up to you. Let's see if we can give you a rhythm to practice with so that, again, the chords are patterned. And once you play the pattern, you can now uh, invent path to the pattern. Let's see if I can get this drum to give me a nice, it's a 6 8 timing, so this pattern is a little bit off. So give me a chance to adjust it. B. This one is not going to do before I want. If I speed it up. Let me see if I got another one that can give me the pattern I want. Nope. Nope. I don't think I've got a pattern for this one. Ah, I don't have a pattern for it. Look at that. Switch this. Well, I guess we're going to have to stay where we are. Again, uh, the pattern, the rhythm helps you to lock into your changes. The major chord. 
but now you're going to be in the seventh chord. to your verse part. So we've covered the chords. Sorry, I couldn't get a 3-4 a uh, rhythm here. I used to be able to mimic one of them to, to do that. But that's the, that's the entire song. Those are your chords. You see them pop up on the chordy chart, hopefully. Yes, they did pop up on the chordy chart. Sometimes I have to look and see. But this song is pattern laden. Once you know the pattern, you know the chords that are coming, then you can take some other turns to it. Let's see. Let's give you something a little more advanced. Steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of love. Harmonizing chords in vain. Labor. Little um, Thomas Whitfield turn. Hang on in there. On in there. If you want to work on it, I'm trying to think in my head. Once you get comfortable jumping around keys, you can make up things as you're going. Don't want to give you too much. Sam Tobin, Sound of Joy Music Services. If you're not a subscriber, why not? You're going to get the best that I could possibly provide in gospel music instruction. I love the actual um, traditional sound, but we try to do all types. So subscribe to us if you haven't subscribed. Give us that like, and of course, leave a comment, YouTube.